Hi guys, um, my name is Stephanie and this is my first ever video ever, so deal with me. Um, I wanted to make a video for like all the teen moms or expecting teen moms, if you know what I mean. Um, so kind of like story time, lesson learned, whatever. So... When I got pregnant, I was 15 years old, almost 16, but 15 years old, when I found out I was first pregnant, and now I am 17. My baby is one years old, and he's somewhere. I'll start with the story time. So, okay. Well, me and my boyfriend, my he's still my boyfriend, current boyfriend. Um, we've been together since 2016 and then I got pregnant with him when we were like one year together and um, so it was like around November and I was I was supposed because my periods were always every fourth of every month and it didn't come and I was like what the heck and so I was just like maybe it'll come like soon whatever so I just ignored it for a little bit but I kind of really I was like um babe like my period hasn't came like <laughs> and he was scared you know we've we've always had like pregnancy scares whatever it's normal and that's why we kind of ignored it too because it's always happened but then this time like it my period was actually not coming like it was already november 17th i believe and that day we were at school and we were in like an alternative high school and they were really supportive of us whatever like of any decisions i don't know whatever and we, I went to go talk to my counselor and I told her like, I think I'm pregnant, like, help. <laughs> and she went to go talk to my principal. So yeah, we went to go talk to him and he was like, well, he helped us find, find one and it was like literally two blocks away. So we walked, we ended up walking over there and he excused our absences and he was so cool. Um, he excused our absences and we walked over there and then... Well, I just told them, like, I need to take a pregnancy test, whatever. So they took us. I went in alone. Like, Moses wasn't allowed to go in with me or something. And then... Well, yeah, I took the pregnancy test, whatever, and then it came out positive. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was in shock. Like, I started crying. I didn't know what the fuck to do. Like, and... I don't know how Moses, my boyfriend would have reacted, like... You know like it was just all so scary and I as soon as I got like this said positive I took a picture of it and sent it to my friends <laughs> and told them and then yeah so I went out the little room they had me in and I told mom just like I'm pregnant and he was just like in shock too and we just didn't like really talk about it like as we were going home because we rode like the city bus home and we just that same night I told my mom I sat her down I was like mom like estoy embarazada <laughs> and she was like como estas tonta that's really the meanest thing she told me like she was speechless too like she had nothing to say I felt so bad she was shaking so much and I don't know I felt so bad when I told her but she was, I mean, obviously she was disappointed for a couple, like, like, for a couple days, but then she freaking loves him to death now, like, she loves him. He probably loves her more than he, he loves me. <laughs> and, yeah, telling my parents wasn't that bad, like, it wasn't that bad. My dad was excited, like, because he's had really bad experiences with my other, like, my stepbrother and sister because they're mean to him and they don't let him see the babies, you know? So this is like basically his first grandson and he was super happy, like 
finally a baby I grandson I get to see like every day, you know? Um <clears throat> and Suegra, she was not happy about it. She she's gangster AF so she talked a lot of shit, like she was really unhappy, you know, but now yet again like she freaking loves him to death too. Like yeah. She was really unhappy though. But it's okay. They all get I kn I freaking knew they were all gonna get over it, like Tell the papas are like shut up. <laughs> um, but then let's see my pregnancy experience. I I had a pretty good experience. Like I had no morning sick. I guess I did like the first month. Um, tenía mucho asco. Like I didn't. I couldn't smell anything in the morning. Like any kind of food I smelled in the morning, it was disgusting. Like disgusting. Like it. <laughs> Yeah, but that was just for like a home, like a month, like first trimester, whatever. And then after that, like I had nothing. Like I had a pretty good experience. And then, like in my third trimester, I didn't feel baby move, and I was searching up that like you had to feel a move like ten times an hour or something like that. And I was like counting like every hour, like to see how many times he would hit me, and he wouldn't hit me at all. Or move around my tummy, you know. What I mean? So, okay. So my delivery story. So, right after the Fourth of July. Jul so the fifth of July in the morning, like at eleven. Um, my boyfriend, my boyfriend was playing Fortnite, and I was just like chilling on the bed, you know. Or no, actually, I was on the like little the ball, the yoga ball. I was just like I'm. O I was always on the yoga ball, and I started feeling like like cramp pains, like cramps, and I was scared because it was like a constant pain. Like I knew it wasn't like contractions because it wasn't coming and going. It was just constant. So I was kind of I got kind of scared and it was hurting a lot. So I called my mom, and I was like, Mom, like. Me duele mucho la panza, like, y no, yo sé que no son contracciones and whatever. And she was, and she knew, like, that was, but she didn't tell me. And she was like, go to the hospital right now, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. And I, little, and they checked me, and I was two centimeters dilated. I was like, well, what the fuck? And then, as I was in the hospital, is when my contractions started, like, coming and going, you know? And then... But that same day, I had an appointment at my doctor's, you know, like the weekly appointments you have for your, for your babies. Um, and the hospital told me to just go to my appointment. And I was in pain. I was in so much pain. So, but we have to go to our appointment. So I went to my appointment. And, and they checked me there too, to see how dil dilated I was. And there I... Like, it was, like, literally, like, in one hour difference, I was already five centimeters dilated. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you coming in hot? <laughs> yeah, so they sent me, like, immediately back to the hospital, and then by this time, it was already, like, five, and so they already put me, like, in the, what is this called? I don't know. They, like, poked me something. And they put sweat on me and everything. And then, like around six, I asked for the fentanyl. I didn't get epidural. I got fentanyl instead. It's like a drug that just drugs you up so bad. <laughs> but, I mean, it doesn't take the pain away, but it tricks your body into believing that you have no pain. And, like, it, your body being. It makes your body not focus on the pain too much, and it did work actually. While I was on fentanyl, I went on in the tub with water, with like warm water because I guess that helps your contractions, whatever too. So it was like two in one, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, and then as as I I was in the water, my water broke, so. Then the like, freaking doctors started coming and everything, and but I still wasn't dilated. Like to, I was at barely at seven still. So they just laid me down, and I was there for a while. And then like around 
8.30 is when I felt like the need to freaking push. Like, I was like, I need to push. Like, I feel it. And then I told the doctor, <laughs> I told the doctors I had to poop and they were like, no, that's the baby. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I just like started pushing and they were all there helping me. And it only took me like three pushes to have him. It was like 10 minutes. Yeah, as I was giving birth, I was screaming like, I need a poop. I think I'm going to poop. <laughs> but they were like, no, that's just your baby. But I swear, I thought I was going to fucking shit my pants. I swear to God. Or not my pants. I thought I was going to shit the bed. But yeah, I guess that's it for that. Um, tips on first time mummies. I get this question asked a lot. Like... Like, can you give me tips on being a first? I don't know. With me, like, I'm being her AF. Uh, everything came naturally to me because of my parents, the way I was raised, you know. I kind of knew how to... How to do everything with my baby, like, naturally. Like, my mom was so scared when I first had him. Like, oh, yo lo baño, no lo bañes tú. Oh, yo hago esto, yo hago esto. Like, you don't do it. And I was like, like, I got it, dude. Like, Leave me alone. <laughs> um, yeah, it was not bad. Like my baby, he's always been such a good baby. Like you don't even know. I never struggled with teething, with sickness, with anything. Like he's a really he's bago as fuck, but <laughs> but he's a really good baby. Um. What really helped me a lot was like family support, my boyfriend support, friends support, like that's the number one thing like that I feel like any pregnant pregnant woman in general need. It really, really helps. Um but yeah. I think I might have covered everything, but if you guys have any questions but if you guys have any questions, you can just comment down below and I'll answer any questions you guys have about my pregnancy or after pregnancy or raising a kid or up to one years old because I haven't gone further. But yeah, ask me anything. And if anybody even sees this video, what kind of video you guys want to see next from me. And yeah, give this a thumbs up and subscribe, duh. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.